Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me, we're on episode number 70. Let's play Hungry Hungry. We've got a few little independent counts, which are messed up, I don't like that. It's human, we don't control this duchy. Uh, he's at war. We do control the duchy of Aktob. And I could get rid of it. In fact, I might as well. Um, I think one of these people that I put in charge was a Hungarian. Yes, so we'll make him the Hungarian Duke of Aktob. Hopefully he'll try to convert those guys for us. And other than that, we're just waiting for claims. And to put down some other wars. An independent count right here. It's part of Latium. You're probably upset about it. Yes, he is. Transfer Vassal. I actually only have three counts beneath me now. It's perfect. That's wonderful. This guy... What are you doing? Like, okay, let's check out the wars list, because... It's gonna be tough. My vas None of my vassals can be fighting each other for me to build a change succession law. And none of them can have negative opinion. I could probably fix the negative opinion problem pretty easily. Just by, you know, like, plot to kill this guy. Uh, right now we're trying to kill this guy, though. So let's, let's find a couple more people, pop this up over 200%. And then, uh... I really just, I want to get all of the land on the map, and then we'll start focusing on more of the organizational type stuff. Hopefully that's enough. And then I'm probably, probably going to start playing on speed 5 at some point, because um, all that really needs to happen is du jour drift and assimilation. Oh, he came, became cruel like me. Yep, let's kill that guy. Good, good. Looks like we got over 200%, so that fired pretty quick. Uh, we've got a guardian. Somebody, this is my son. I will educate him. And we're missing a diviner. We'll go with that guy. Ugh, I'm still... Still falling behind on this whole conversion thing. Still got a little bit of orthodox faith. Oh wow, I'm suffering attrition here. Go to the coast. This guy... Still has that titular title. Interesting. He's unlanded. He has an heir. I wonder how you kill the titular title. Eh, I'm not gonna worry about it. Years of careful planning. <laughs> okay, so I had this guy set a special interest for some reason, probably because of his culture. His heir is now a zero-year-old, so we'll set him a special interest and try to remember to educate him. Um, attempting to convert me to his heresy. No. I could, um, I could actually go backwards. I could embrace the old Tengri and then I could do, do like a holy war or something. Maybe just a conquest of this. That's kind of messy though. I'd probably have a huge rebellion. Failure. I have a nephew! How nice! My son is not impotent. Oh, uh, let's see, um... We'll give him a little bit of time to get some morale, and then we'll just boat bomb. Another one. Diviner Shaman Mate found a heretic at my court and insisted, nay, demanded, that I would banish the heretic and make sure the heretic would never return on pain of death. Don't make me banish you instead. Wow, this is going to piss off a lot of people no matter what. These are just courtiers, though. So who cares? Let's 
Go there. Very simple, simple, simple stuff at this point. Looks like he's actually raising his troops to take care of it on his own. Fire and forget. You're not ready. I'm never going to give you land. They shouldn't even ask under Gavelkind. Here's another one. This guy's still at war. Jeez. Yeah, there's wars all over the place. This is annoying. That guy must have an organizer. He's really quick. So, I'll just have to search through the entire realm and try to find somebody, anybody, that has the organizer trait. Which is apparently very, very rare. We don't have anybody who has it. Yay! Would you stop running away from me? Wait, what was that then? Some guy with oh god I missed it and I didn't ass I didn't assassinate him shoot some guy is, is an ambitious adventurer is co coveting my land awesome it's fantastic <sighs> silly game mechanics Ah, good. Yes. Take care of it for me. I appreciate it. You want to marry some random dude to my daughter. No. My daughter is going to marry someone of worth. Like, say, the... King of... England. Sounds good. It's very, very difficult to change succession law when the realm gets big. Okay, so we've successfully killed that guy, so we can declare war again. Would you please stop fighting? Yes, good. Take care of it. Out of my prison. If you can't pay, you can't stay. Seems like the conversions are starting to slow down. Uh, as I say that, of course, it pops up again. But, uh. <laughs> never mind! Conversions aren't slowing down at all. Um, but it's getting. I mean, look at this. Almost all of Hispania. A lot of pressure against it. I cannot believe that this guy cannot fabricate claims. Come on, do a better job. And what the heck? Let's go ahead and, uh, I don't know, build something. We haven't done that in a while. There we go. See? I build stuff. This is a strong, cruel boy. I'd like to educate him myself. I'm already educating two sons. Prince Attila. And, uh... I think I'll get rid of this one. Someone else can educate this one. He's not strong. We'll have, uh, that guy. And then I'll educate this one myself. Dangerous revolt has broken out up in Hylanov. These guys are all pounce. They're just ready. I 
I'm gonna complain one more time about how in the past, before they did the liege levy system, and it's still in the game files, that when you raise an army, if the character likes you, they should provide a, a leader. They should provide a person in charge of the army. The problem is that liege levies are different. So for instance, if I go to my own territory, like this, right, and I raise this guy's levy, just this one dude right here, if I just raise up that levy, so if I do this, and I raise up this army, and I check it out, actually no, never mind, it's still, still, still wrong. The only time that they will actually, um, here, I can, I can demonstrate something. Okay, so my spy master's army, if he wasn't leading troops, and he's on my council, he is the king of Abyssinia. So, his primary title is down here. If I raise up this army, then, god damn it, I don't know how it works, never mind. It's wrong, it doesn't work. The point is that they should be providing tons and tons of leaders, but they don't. And every single single, every army you raise, you have to manually appoint commanders. It's very annoying. Makes there it's just a lot more work than there should be. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Hmm. What is all that about? My gosh. What are you fighting over? Someone's claim on Egypt. Oh god, it's starting to claim wars. Very silly. I don't always remember to execute the rebellion the rebellion's commanders, but it doesn't really matter. Eventually they'll die. Or I'll release them or something. I don't know. Convert! That's convenient. I mean, I'd rather they not do it, but if they have to do it, right next door is nice. Especially with so few troops that I can kill them outright. Okay. Come on, fabricate those claims. What's your problem, dude? How you became independent, I do not know. Some random Norse character. Oh wow, I have a truce timer with him. And I've got raised levies somewhere. That's weird. Um, oh, he must have had... That's right, he had two baronies. He's just a, a thane, so let's just assassinate him. And there we go. And there's very few other single county people. There's this guy. Oh, that's the same guy that I was just looking at. What about this guy? Somehow that happened. Um. Do the county claim. I want to do both at once. But yes, we're getting very, very close. Come on, make a claim. Get a claim, get a claim. I want a claim on that, that other land. How many people are in your court? Just 14. Hmm. So, like, where did he go? I'm curious. Apparently he went to this guy's court. 
Hungarian Tengri. He just just happens to have random Norse characters in his realm. I don't know how it chose that place, I, I don't know, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Hey, it's a woman. Is she worth anything to you? How about your wife? I'll give her back, but then you still have to surrender. Now, where did you go? Bedouin Sunni, living up here. Underneath this guy. Very strange. Okay. 333, three, three. so that's going to be... 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. This is it. There's no one else. We have 3,090 holdings now. Vassal levies are raised too long. I must have left some troops up somewhere. Looks like there's a war that's broken out here. Whoa, what's that all about? Torstein's host. Some Norse character has created a, a host war for what? Bertalan's Conquest? No, that's not it. Who's Bertalan? Bertalan's host is a Hungarian Tengri host. Um, it's not him. What are you doing again? You've got this attack. Atta atta oh, you're attacking me! Conquest of Cyrenaica. Where is Cyrenaica? It's nowhere near here. Is it? Is Cyrenaica a duchy? I am so confused. Fine title. Siren. So you're telling me... Wait a minute. So you're, so you're saying that you're after this and that you are going to spawn up here in the middle of the mountains or hills of County of Manzia. That makes sense. In nowhere ever. Alright, whatever. Okay, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.